Okay, this is Spheres Part 2. So we left off with this problem. We did this sphere with doing these two cross sections of ellipses to get the ends of the sphere and then took a compass and then went around and then drew the circle and found out that it doesn't touch the spots we plotted out. It's a little too wide to make a perfect circle and a sphere a balls are just perfect circles. So why, why is this not a perfect circle when it's plotted out? So here's kind of review, but we talked about distortion and the picture plane. So if you have a ball, this is a, a plan view. And here's your picture plane. And you're look you're perfectly aligned with it. And you're right here. Um, the, this would be that visual pyramid that we talked about way back at the beginning of these. So think of it like you are seeing well, this front half of it. So you're seeing the circle, like you're looking at a ball, you are seeing the circle, the ed uh, silhouette edge of it. And if you think of this instead of like a pyramid, but um, like a cone, right? Like think of this in three dimensions. Maybe I wonder if I could kind of draw it in three dimensions. We'll make this a little bit of a, an ellipse. And this is like a cone going right to the viewer's eye. And if you're standing right in front of it, it's like here's... There's a cone. And this picture plane is intersecting it at a right angle. And it's like, so if you have a piece of glass that is intersecting this cone, the shape you see is a circle. So this sphere is a circle if it's right in front of you. But if it's over here, anywhere else, actually anywhere else, but directly in front of you, then it's still this cone, okay? And you're still kind of, think of it, yeah, this, this is like a three-dimensional thing. But look at the picture plane. Now it's cutting it off at an oblique angle. So if you have a cone, This is called conical sections. If you slice a cone at an angle, what you get is an ellipse. So that is what's happening here with this one. It's like, it's a little bit over to the right and it's below the eye level. So the shape you're drawing is not going to be a a perfect circle. If it was right there, it would be like a perfect circle. Anywhere else, it's going to be a little variation of that perf perfect circle. It's going to be a little of a little bit of an ellipse. So that is just, um, it's not going to be ellipse to this person where they're standing. This would look perfect. And I remember when we did something like this, I drew kind of like circle an ellipse and when we you know looked at it from this point of view then you see it as a circle so that's what um that's what this guy's doing he's he's it's going to be perfect to them but if you stand someplace else and look at it you know it it looks like like this and if there's a way that you can make your drawing Perfect, like make the viewer only look at your drawing from exactly where you plotted it out, then this guy would look like perfect circle to, to that person. But since we really can't do that, um, or you can do that, but that's like a whole other thing, then um, what you want to do is the same thing I said when we did ellipses. You now we did ellipses and we you know, did a little square over here and then when we plotted the ellipse in perspective, it kind of looked like that. It was kind of dipping down. So what I said, and I hate saying this, but is you need to make it wrong to make it look 
good. So nobody's going to like this. It's going to look like it's like if you put a marble on top of the surface, it would just like fall off the edge. But it is correct in perspective. So what you need to do is make it look right by just kind of cheating it and flattening it out on your drawing so that people don't think you don't know how to draw. So this one, like the same thing. I mean, you, you don't want to make your spheres look like a, a elliptical shape. So um, you just kind of cheat it. You just like, this will give you really like where it's sitting in, on the ground. And I just take a compass and maybe make it a little bit, a little bit taller, top and bottom, you know, and then a, the, like just do a little compromise here, like making it a little bit wider. Yeah, so there none, not any of them actually hit the right spot, but they're like these would be just a little bit bigger than it is. So th vertically, it's going to be a little bit taller, and horizontally, it's going to be like a little bit smaller, and um, then it looks like a ball and not some shape that is not a ball.